Hi, I'm Jamie Sorcher, and we are celebrating CES 2021 virtual style. With me right now is the co-founder of AirPop, Chris Hosmer, and uh, we have a lot to talk about. So first thing I want to ask you is, is this your first round at CES? Is this the first time? Uh, this is my first time uh, exhibiting as a, as a brand, yes. I've been to CES many times before, though. I am guessing that timing is probably one of the most important things with anything you bring to market. It is. <laughs> it turns out, yes. Turns out, yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about the latest invention, the air mask, why it's so revolutionary, and what innovating consumer respiratory protection is really all about. Well, we, we founded the company in 2015 um, when I was living in China, and it was really um, born out of a personal health scare. Uh, my daughter was um, really reacting poorly to the noxious air in China. And so around 2015, we decided, my business partner and I decided to do something about that. And what's interesting about China as a market is that it's kind of the perfect storm, if you will, for airborne threats. There's pathogens there's uh, allergens, there's ecological things like dust storms and, and um, um, it's, it's a lot going on. And so back then we decided to make a series of products that would defend against all three major airborne threat types. So uh, pathogenic, biologic and ecologic. And <clears throat> we didn't actually think much about how much of the rest of the world would need such a, a product. But it turns out, unfortunately, during the current pandemic, we're all suffering um, and we're all needing uh, respiratory protection. So it turns out there's a much broader market for this. Um, if you look at the, the kind of the total healthcare fallout costs, um, it's in the many trillions of dollars uh, that people uh, suffer from things like air pollution and not only from um, viral pandemics like, like influenza or, or COVID. But yeah, the timing, the timing is definitely um, uncanny. It is. So tell me a little bit about the mask and why it's so interesting. It's an air filtration system. I mean, it's got some high tech stuff about it. It does. We spent a lot of R&D um, basically developing kind of three areas of technology. Um, the first and most important is our filtration. So we, we started from scratch when it came to filtration. We really looked at the um, the materials and the fibers themselves. And we developed a filter that provides two-way protection um, for both the wearer and those around the wearer. Um, and in a form factor that is that creates a, a, a continuous seal with the face. So for filtration, you have to, you have, to have both fit and fil high efficiency filtration. Ours is over 99% that exceeds all national standards. So from the outset, all of our products had this, this level of protection. The second area of, of uh, technical competence for us is the actual textiles. So using a lot of the most advanced material science and advanced construction techniques, we developed a soft shell that has um, a, an engineered knit structure. So it allows that we designed performance pores that allows air intake and outtake to be ideal. And it fits with the body. So it's very ergonomic. And then the last area of technical innovation for us is our sensor. So we have a sensor that basically reads, it lives on board the mask, first of its kind, and it reads your, the user's breathing behavior. And the idea there is that we want to give consumers um, a much deeper appreciation and understanding for not only their own breath, breathing health, but also their, um, their relationship to their environmental health. So it's fit, filter, and it's also a little bit of fashion, isn't it? I mean, if you're going to be wearing one of these things for, let's call it an indefinite amount of time going forward, you want to look a little bit cool, don't you? Absolutely. I mean, when we started the company, we were looking at some of the existing products on the market, industrial masks and medical masks. And honestly, they haven't changed much. Um, they haven't changed much in decades. So we saw a real opportunity to kind of treat this almost more like a garment in the way that we, we conceived and designed it. So it's, our mask is interesting because it's not a cut and sew. There's no stitching. There's no mechanical fasteners. It's a one piece textile that is soft and washable. But if you kind of crumple it up or fold it, it'll pop back into shape. And that shape is really interesting because it's, a, it's kind of adding a little bit of structure to, to what is normally a soft good.
So wait, is that where the name comes from, Air Pop? This kind of just pops back into shape or is that another story? That actually is where the name comes from. No one would know that though, but our very first product was um, this kind of two layer uh, mask architecture. You have an, out, an outer mask, which is attractive and stylish. And then you have an inner um, filter that no one can see, but you know is there. And so when you pop them together, they kind of form a little bit of a, a structural integrity, but it's still soft. And that first material we use, when you we noticed when you fold it or crumple it, it would pop back into shape. And we thought that was really cool. So that is actually where the name came from. Awesome. So how long, what is the life cycle of one of these masks? If you buy one, how long will this newest one that's gonna be debuting at CES last you before you need a new one? Yeah, great question. So the Active Plus, the one that we're announcing um, is a washable mask. So it, it'll last as long as you wanna keep washing it. Um, it's very durable, the, the yarns that we use and the, the construction. Um, means you can use it in the gym, you can wear it every day, you can put it in your bag, just stow it in your glove box, in your desk, wherever. It's, it can take a lot. Um, and like we said, it's a garment, so it kind of it gets better with age. The filters themselves, which are replaceable, um, are good for 40 hours each, and that's a cumulative 40 hours. And, so, and then the sensor itself uh, has a battery life that lasts um, more than six months before you have to change it. Okay, so now you're gonna debut this at CES. Have you already got the next mask in the works? Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> we've got a couple things cooking. Well, that's exciting to hear. And uh, where can people go for more information on what we've talked about today? Best place to go is airpophealth.com. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you have a great CES. Very excited about your product. Air wearables are the next big thing. And, um, for those of you watching, thanks for tuning in and uh, stay with TWICE for all your CES 2021 coverage. Thank you so much for watching.